This is what people in Gaza wake up to every day. Israel ignoring warnings from world leaders, including its main ally, the United States, and bombing Rafah. A darkness aid agency say that has catastrophic consequences for Palestinians. Israel's takeover of the Rafah border crossing with Egypt on Tuesday means no aid can get in. Aid that's a lifeline for those living in the Gaza Strip. Israel has also denied the UN and other aid agencies access to Gaza. They say their supplies of fuel will only last a one more day. During the last seven months, Israel has been forcing Palestinians into Rafah. Nearly two-thirds of the Strip's population of 2.3 million are displaced there. That's 1.5 million people. The city had a population of 275,000 before the war. Exhausted and traumatized, they are on the move again. Some displaced for the fifth or the sixth time. Israel has told those in eastern Rafah to go to areas that just weeks ago were battlefields. They are going to Mawasi Khan Yunus and Deir el Balah. None of these areas have basic services nor conditions considered livable. Many Palestinians are close to famine and suffering waterborne diseases with only extremely poor medical care available. We have suffered a lot. Our children see horrible things and missiles falling. They suffer with trauma all while we're displaced. Even tanks are not far from us. You can see it with your bare eyes. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Minister of Defense Uav Gallant have both released a statement saying the bombing of Rafah is necessary to get rid of Hamas and that Israel will continue to deepen its operation all over the Strip in the south, center, and in the north. Gaza is often described as the world's largest open prison. And before the war was already under a 17-year blockade imposed by Israel. As a ceasefire deal is still being discussed in Cairo, Palestinians in the Gaza Strip are desperate for the war to end. Tariq Abazun, Al Jazeera, Rafah, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.